Welcome to the Lab Preschool Online Experience. My name is Holly and I am so excited that you're joining me today. Do you guys remember what our theme is this month? It's called, Are We There Yet? And in this theme, we're learning all about the Israelites and their really long trip in the wilderness. Have you ever been on a really long road trip before? Going on trips is so much fun. But sometimes the drive to get there takes a long time. One way I like to pass the time is by looking out my window and seeing what kind of animals I can find. Hmm, I know. Why don't we all pretend we're on a long road trip right now and we're going to look out our window and search for animals. Are you ready? Here we go. Where's the rabbit? Good job! You found the rabbit! Where's the pig? Great job! You found the pig! Where's the dog? Good job! You found the dog! Where's the goat? Great job! You found the goat! Where's the frog? Good job! You found the frog! Where's the duck? Good job finding the duck! Last one! Where's the horse? Great job! You found the horse! Where's the cow? Great job! You found the cow! Whoa! Great job spotting the animals, friends! Do you guys remember what the last animal was that we spotted? A cow! When you go on a road trip, you often see a lot of cows outside your window. Well, in our story today, the Israelites were really tired and restless from their journey, and they decided to make a cow out of gold. But you know what? They started to worship the cow instead of God. And this wasn't a very good thing to do. It made God really sad. Let's go check out our Bible story and see what happened. I'll see you soon. It's Kelly! Hey! What we gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. to the coolest birthday party ever! It was for my friend Corbin. It was desert adventure themed. So fun! We played kick the cactus. They weren't really cactuses. Don't worry. We played meerkat, meerkat, coyote instead of duck, duck, goose. By the way, meerkats and coyotes live in the desert. Check them out! We had scorpion cupcakes. They weren't real scorpions, don't worry. Just decoration. Then... We played pin the tail on the camel. It was so fun, I decided I wanted to play at home. So I drew a big camel without its tail on this paper. Then I made a tail out of string. I put a piece of tape on the string. Oh, and I get to use this super cool Cali headband as a blindfold. Now I just put the blindfold on and simply tape the tail to the camel. Now remember where the tail should go. And here I go. Okay. What? What? Have you ever felt lost, friends? Or maybe you lost your grown-up at the market for a minute? Or maybe you're like me and it's hard for you to play some games, like pin the tail on the camel. Have you ever felt confused? Like you didn't know what to do next, where to go, or who to talk to? Me too. There are lots of ways we can feel lost. Being lost is hard. 
Sometimes it feels like, I guess, walking around with this blindfold on. And trying to pin a tail on a camel? <laughs> I wonder, where can we go when we feel lost? I need to wonder about this more while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 32. At that time, Moses was the only one who spoke to the people for God. God told Moses what to say. Moses told the people. One time, Moses was taking a very long time on the top of the mountain talking to God. The Israelites waited and waited, and then they couldn't wait anymore. They didn't know what happened to Moses. They thought that he might never come back. Maybe Moses was gone. Maybe God had forgotten about them. They felt lost. But instead of turning to God, they turned to something else. They went to Aaron, Moses' brother, and told him to make them something out of gold that they could worship. This was not a good idea. It broke one of God's rules for the people. Worship only God. But Aaron gave in and did it. He collected all the gold from everybody. He melted it together in a pot and made a golden statue that looked like a baby cow. Then all the people gathered around the statue and worshiped it. The people forgot about God. They really lost their way. Meanwhile, God was talking to Moses at the top of the mountain. God knew what the Israelites had done and God was not happy. You know when you break a rule and you get in trouble with your parents? Those rules from your parents are to keep you safe and growing strong. God gave the Israelites rules for the same reason. So when they decided to break the rules, they were really hurting themselves and God loved them. So he wouldn't let that go. Moses begged God to forgive the people for their mistakes and God did. Moses went down to the mountain and asked why the people turned against God like this. They told him they felt lost because they didn't know where Moses was. But many of them were sorry for what they did and they were ready to make things right. We will make mistakes sometimes too. We'll wander off the path. But God is ready to give us another chance. That's why we can turn to God when we're lost. I decided to call my buddy Sam to help me with pinning the tail on the camel. Hey, Sam! Hey, Callie! Wasn't Corbin's party so much fun? It sure was. My family's been playing Meerkat Meerkat Coyote since we got home. Oh, cool! I've been playing pin the tail on the camel. Ooh, that's a good one! But I keep getting lost when I put the blindfold on and I don't know what to do. I can help. When you put the blindfold on, I'll guide you to where the tail should go. Here I go! Down, now up a little, to the right, and there! <gasps> we did it! Yeah! I'm sure glad I called you when I felt lost. We were just learning about the Israelites not turning to God when they felt lost. Oh, the Israelites had some trouble trusting God all the way. They kept forgetting that God was always with them. I might be good to call for pin the tail on the camel, but when we feel lost in other ways, confused, not sure about what to do or where to go, we can call God. I wonder, how do we call God? We pray. We talk to God about it. Oh, of course. Thanks, Sam. My pleasure, bud. Bye. Friends, you may not ever play pin the tail on the camel, but you should. But we all feel lost or confused sometimes. But before we give up or do anything else, we can turn to God when we're lost. It's been so fun! Thanks for learning and growing with me. Bye! Whoa, that was a really good story. The Israelites felt lost. 
They were alone in the wilderness, and their leader Moses had been gone for 40 whole days. They didn't know if he was going to come back or if God was still with them, and so they looked for help in the wrong places. They made a statue that they could see, and they started to pray and trust that statue instead of God. You know, if ever we're unsure or we're worried or we don't know what to do, instead of turning to other things like maybe TV or toys or even food, God wants us to come to Him. We can't see Him with our eyes like I can see you and you can see me right now, but, and that can make it a little tricky sometimes, but God's given us people like our parents that we can see and we can talk to them or ask them for hugs if we're feeling sad. God's also given us the Bible that we can see and it helps us know more about Him. And we can even pray to God and talk to Him and feel Him in our hearts. So we can always come to God no matter what's going on. So next time that you're maybe not sure what to do or you're feeling a little bit lost or unsure, God says we can come to Him instead of turning to other things. That's a pretty good thing to remember. You know what? A really good way to help us remember coming to God is the Bible. And that's why we have memory verses every month. We have a really great memory verse this month. Why don't we go check it out together? Hi friends, it's Miss Sarah. You know what time it is. It is memory verse time. This month, our memory verse comes from Exodus 34 verse 6. And this is what God is saying to us. He's saying, I am the Lord God. I show great love and can be trusted. Exodus 34 verse 6. Can we do that one more time? Oh yeah, we can. Are you ready? This is what God is saying. I am the Lord God. I show great love and can be trusted. Exodus 34 verse 6. Great job, friends. You are wonderful. Awesome job, friends. I love memorizing the Bible because that helps it get into my head and my heart. And that helps me know God better. Well, I am so glad that you guys joined us today and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. We'll see you back here next week or you could come meet us in person at one of our three campuses. We'll see you then. Bye. to do